Hello everybody, my name is Maurice Tahokna. I'm an undergraduate of Agrotechnology Program Study, Faculty of Agriculture, Universitas Sebelas Maret, Surakarta, Indonesia. And today, I would like to present about the growth and yield of hybrid corn on different plant species. First of all, corn is the most important food crop in the world beside rice and wheat. Residents in various countries, including Indonesia, make corn as one of the staple food and animal food. National demand for corn is increasing every year and Indonesia still import to meet the need and demand for corn. Demand for corn increasing along with the income and purchasing power in the community. The low productivity of corn is caused by non-intensive cultivation techniques. Effort to increase corn production can be done by applying technologies such as the use of high yielding varieties and fertilizing. And a equally important factor in influencing the growth and yield of corn is the plant spacing. Hybrid corn has advantages in terms of potential yield to the growth and same plant. Plant spacing affects the number of plants, the process of receiving sunlight, water, and nutrients which will also affect the process of photosynthesis and assimilation between plants. This research was conducted from June to November 2019 in the UNS Experimental Field Jumantono Karanganyar, Laboratory of Chemistry and Soil Fertility, Laboratory of Ecology and Management of Plant Production. Design utilization was experimental method with randomized complete block design of one factor consists of four levels, G1, G2, G3, and G4. There was replicated six times, so there were 24 experimental units. The data were analyzed by using analysis of variance, 5% using the SPSS program, then followed by Duncan's multiple range test, 5%. The study was conducted in the dry seasons. Result of environmental condition in Jumantano experience field is, like intensity in the morning is 2,150, afternoon 3,890, Evening 2730. Relative humidity in the morning is 66, afternoon 50, and evening 60. Temperature in the morning is 27, afternoon 45, and evening is 30. Research field have alpha soil types. Result of soil chemical analysis on dry land is N total is medium, P total is high, K total is low, C organic is low, organic matter is low, C and residue is low, and soil pH is acid. The height of hybrid corn plants in each treatment has increased every year. Every week, corn plant height ranges from 98.78 to 110.61. The increase in plant height along with an increase in plant density at narrow plant spacing. This is caused by increased competition between plants in getting sunlight and due to the canopy that covers the plant part to reduce the decomposition of oxygen so plant height can increase. Stem pests continue to grow from the beginning of growth until the time of the last measurement. Increasing the diameter of stem increases every week. The stem based diameter ranges from 13.8 to 16.32. The application of spacing did not give a real difference to the diameter of hybrid corn stem. The narrow spacing and high plant density that affect morphological and seismological change. High plant density will increase competition between plants for like water and nutrition. The number of leaves in hybrid corn plant continue to grow as growth continues to increase. The average number of leaves range for 11 blades to 12.7 blades. The use of narrow plant spacing causes the number of leaves produced lower. 
That is because the use of narrow spacing will overlap between plant leaf. Then the plant will respond by reducing leaf formation. Application of plant spacing treatments give a real difference to the value of leaf area intake. Table 3 shows that treatment J1 has the largest leaf area index value of 0.91, while treatment J4 has the smallest value of 0.64. Application of plant spacing treatment that has a different density can be cause of difference in leaf area index values. The high leaf area index was caused by the narrow plant spacing so the the canopy covered each other and covered an area of land. The measurement of rest of wake is carried out immediately after harvesting because it can avoid a lot of water loss. Fresh wake runs from 100.99 to 108.69 gram. Fresh wake relates to the accumulation of photosynthetic yield and water content in plant. The fresh wake of plant is influenced by the absorption of water and nutrient by plant so that the root play an important role in increasing the fresh wick of plant. The dry wick ranging from 40.1 to 69.47 gram. Narrower plant spacing, in fact, it affects the loss of dry wick. The narrower plant spacing and the higher the population makes the dry wick per plant lower, while the wide plant spacing and the low population provide opportunities for plant to absorb nutrient, water, and sunlight. Based on the result of the study, the largest weight cups has shown by J4 treatment with a weight of 207.87 while G1 treatment had the lowest value of 108.69. White spacing increases reception of light and nutrients so that they are able to grow and experience a better assimilation process. Spacing that is too narrow makes plants loose and cover each other so that the process of photosynthesis in inhibited and seed production is not optimum. Even though the plants are given enough fertilizer to contain phosphorus. The G4 treatment had the highest weight without husk, which was 175.81, while the G1 treatment had the lowest weight, which was 96.32. Cops that produced by corn plant at white plant spacing with low population have a higher size and weight compared to plant at a narrow plant space. The increasingly narrow plant spacing causes very tight competition between plants, resulting in a sub-optimal plant growth. The G4 treatment has the highest value of producing 1.22 cups, while the G1 treatment has the lowest value producing 1 cup. The average treatment of G4 and G3 produce two cups per plant, although not the same in all samples, while G2 and G1 treatment on average only produce one cup per plant. This can be caused by the white spacing plants able to get sunlight, water, and nutrient with more leverage compared to narrow spacing. The spacing affects the number of plants in a certain area, it will affect the number of cups that can be produced and harvested. The number of cups is also influenced by nutrient content, especially key in the soil. The G4 treatment kept the highest yield with a weight of 142.56 gram, significantly different from the G1 treatment, which had the lowest weak seed value of 79.03. The increase in grain yield in white spacing with a lower number of plants due to the availability of more resource, nutrient, moisture, and light, so that the competition between plants is low. While at narrow plant spacing, with higher density produce weak plants when fever silting. The yield of seed is 
0.19 tons per hectare. J2 is 1.27 tons per hectare. J3 is 1.09 tons per hectare. And J4 is 1.08 tons per hectare. Corn plants with spacing that are weather get enough nutrition because there is no competition, but with too low population will affect flood protection. Planting corn in high plant population is a strategy to increase crop yield. The 100 seed weight range from 20.08 to 27.3 gram. White plant spacing causes sunlight to be absorbed to the maximum by plant because the canopy does not shade each other. As a result, there is no competition against sunlight for photosynthesis so that plants get maximum energy for the growth of generative organ at 100 seeds weight. Number of seeds range from 304.11 seeds to 416.39 seeds. High plant density will reduce the weight and number of seeds due to the competition during flower bud formation. Using white spacing makes the root grow better so that the utilization of nutrients becomes more optimal. Based on research that has been done, it can be concluded that one, the results show that plant spacing treatment of 60 cm times 30 cm has increased on leaf area index compared by 60 cm times 60 cm. Plant spacing treatment of 60 cm times 60 cm has increased on cob weight with husk, cob weight with a husk, number of copper plant and grain yield per plant compared with plant spacing of 60 cm times 30 cm. The plant spacing treatment of 60 cm times 60 cm can improve quality of yield per crop but have not been able to increase the quantity of hybrid corn yield. Spacing of 60 cm times 40 cm tend to give the high cost yield, namely 1.27 tons per hectare, 6.5 percent higher than 60 cm times 30 cm and 17.5% than 60 cm times 60 cm. And that brings us to the end. I sincerely appreciate for the attention and thank you.